The company building the Keystone XL pipeline is laying off 1,000 workers. President Biden has made good on his promise to rescind the permit for the project. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says it is expected to raise it with Biden when the two men talk tomorrow. Our chief political correspondent David Aiken is with me now. David, is there anything the prime minister could say to the president to change his mind? Well, no, not really. This was a major commitment of the Biden campaign. They campaigned for months on this. And canceling Keystone is a key symbol of the Biden administration's commitment to fight climate change. Now, Alberta Premier Jason Kenney is pushing to have trade sanctions slapped on the U.S. in retaliation. But trade experts are telling me that not only would that likely be illegal, they're unlikely to work. I don't think the government of Canada is going to bring an action at this stage in our relationship with the new administration uh, against the United States. I just don't think it's on. So, David, what happens next for oil producers in Alberta and Saskatchewan who want to produce more, more oil and get it to international markets? Well, as it turns out, exports of Canadian crude to the U.S. has actually been growing, even without Keystone. More efficient use of existing pipeline infrastructure. We've seen more oil by rail. But even still, the business case for Keystone has not really existed for years now. Well, I think what Keystone was, was and I guess is targeted at would be new projects, new production. And so right now, given the current pricing environment, we don't have any new projects currently under construction. And let's not forget that the Trans Mountain Pipeline, which Canada bought, is being expanded. Trans Mountain is more than enough extra capacity for uh, the oil we're going to want to export. Now, Trudeau might want to convince Biden to commit to developing an integrated North American plan that would allow both countries to exploit oil and gas resources and commit to rapidly reducing greenhouse gas emissions. That's a tough order, and there's no guarantee that if they did such a plan, that a keystone or a successor would even be part of it. Donna? All right. David Aiken, thanks.